Um, first off, what I found is that most people, our average ClickFunnel member right now saves between $500 and $1,000 per month by using ClickFunnels. They can get rid of so many other software tools and, and things that are more expensive that are bloated that you don't actually need. You no longer have to glue together like 20 different things just to create a simple sales funnel. Um, you can do everything now inside of ClickFunnels. And so again, I want to give you a free two-week trial so you can play with it, try it out, and the link should be down below. Create your account and go have fun inside of ClickFunnels. Okay, so to begin with, I want to welcome you inside of ClickFunnels. As you can probably tell, I'm really, really excited to show this to you. Now, if we were sitting here in a room right now, the first step, um, if I was going to be building your sales funnel with you, is to stand in front of a whiteboard and kind of map out, like, what's it going to look like? And after we have that blueprint, then I would log into ClickFunnels and actually build it. Okay, so um, because obviously you're not sitting here in front of me and I don't have a whiteboard, I went ahead of time and I kind of sketched out a basic sales funnel. Okay, and this is a pretty traditional one that a lot of people use where the first step is uh, is a lead magnet where we're basically we're giving somebody something in exchange for their name and their email address, right? So that'll be step number one. They come here, they give us their email address. Then on the second page, then I'm going to try to sell them something, right? So I'm going to have a sales video here with an order button. And if my video convinces them they need to buy, they'll click on the order button. Then it takes them over to an order form. And here in the order form, they go and they put their credit card information in. They click submit. And afterwards, I want to offer them an upsell, right? We learned this from McDonald's. You know, do you want a fry? Do you want fries with that? Do you want a Coke with that? And so with most sales phones, we like having upsells. And we call upsells one-time offers, OTOs. So we make a very special one-time offer. Inside of ClickFunnels, we can make this really easily where it's a one-click upsell. So they just click on a button and it'll automatically rebuild their credit card for the upsell. And after they bought this product, they would take them to a thank you page thanking them for their orders. So that's kind of a typical sales funnel. And we can build that or we can build, obviously, way more complex things inside of ClickFunnels if we want. Or we can make really, really simple things as well. So I'm going to show you guys, though, how we can build out this sales funnel right here inside of ClickFunnels. So the first step is to come right here and click on the Add New Funnel button. When I do that, it's going to ask you initially what's your goal. Is your goal to collect emails? Is your goal to sell a product? Or is your goal to host a webinar? Okay, now, depending on which one of these things you choose, there's different types of, uh, of sales funnels you can use. For example, with hosting webinar, if I click on that, I can do a live webinar or I can do an automated webinar replay. All right, but I'm going to go back and actually choose sell your product because this is more similar to the type of sales funnel we're trying to create. So I click on that and then it says I can choose uh, a sales funnel or I can choose a product launch funnel or a membership site funnel. Now, this funnel up here is more similar to a basic sales funnel. So I'm going to choose that. I choose that right here. And then I can kind of name it. So I'm just called Demo Funnel. I can make a tag so I can find it easy in the future. And I click on Build Funnel. Okay, now you can probably see that on the side here, it's created all the steps in our sales funnel. Now, notice these steps aren't quite exactly the same as these right here. So the funnel that it kind of builds for you is based on a typical sales funnel, but you can go and you can add things, you can take things away really, really easily. So right here, I've got a squeeze page, which is similar to this. I've got a sales page, similar to this. An order form, that's similar to this. Uh, an order confirmation page, I don't have up there, so I'm just gonna kill that one. I'll click on the X and that page will disappear. And then I have a thank you page, just like here. So I'm only missing one page in this funnel. Can you guys guess which one it is? <laughs> yes, it's the upsell page I'm missing. So I'm gonna click on add new step. I'm gonna add an OTO page. So I'm gonna add that real quick. And after I add it, it'll drop it down here into the sales funnel. Now, as you can see, this page is kinda out of order. So the cool thing is I can grab this, I can just drag and drop it to the right spot. And there you go, now my sales funnel is in the correct order. Now I need to come back through and start editing each of these pages. So the first page is my squeeze page. So I click on that first, and then let me make this bigger now so you can see the whole inside of ClickFunnels. All right, so the first thing is it has different types of templates up here. So we have opt-in template sales, webinar, membership sites, affiliate, there's tons of stuff, right? But I'm obviously making an opt-in funnel. All right, so after I choose squeeze page, then I get to pick which one of these templates I want to uh, to use. Now, we're always adding more templates. There's tons of cool ones. Plus, cool thing about ClickFunnels is you'll see it's super easy to build your own templates. We've got a marketplace where you can pick other ones as well. So there's never-ending uh, options to design your page. So for this one, I'm just going to choose this one. It's kind of simple and easy, and I like it. So I'll choose my template right here. All right, now you can see right here, it shows me the actual page. And as I start driving traffic into this funnel, I'll be able to see in real time how many visitors hit this page, how many people join my list, so how many leads do I have, and what my average conversion rates are, which are really nice to see because you can figure out, like, is this page working or not? I can also really quickly click on this button right here to set up a split test. So if I want to try two different versions of the page, um, it's really easy to do. Now, in the past, if I wanted to do split tests, it was always so hard. We're now in ClickFunnels, it becomes really, really easy. All right, so I'm going to come right here. I'm going to edit this page. 
All right, now as you can tell, this uh, this page is pretty simple and pretty easy, right? And so if you want, you can come in here and uh, you know just the basic things you can do is come here and just click and edit the headline, really easy. So get my cool thing now. Um, and if you want, you know, you can shrink the headline, you can make it bigger, just really easily like that. Um, and then that's kind of what you know a lot of page editors allow you to edit things. But what makes ClickFunnels really different is not only can you edit things, you can grab things and you can move them around. Okay, now, I don't know any other page editors right now that can do something even close to that. Okay, so that's pretty cool, right? But it gets even better than that because not only can I can I add things, I can move things around, I can add elements. So anytime I find these little plus boxes, I click on that, it gives me the ability to add a whole bunch of different things. I can add headlines, images, text boxes, buttons, I can add videos, I can add progress bars, I can add surveys, I can add a whole bunch of really cool things. So for example, I'm gonna add just a video right here. That's kind of cool. Now I got a video right there in the middle of my page if I like that. Um, the other cool thing is let's say I want to I want to kind of change the structure of this page a little bit. If I want, I can come here. I'm going to make this page a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to come here and I'm just going to add in two blocks. Where I can take this video now and I'm going to move it over here. Now I have a video on this side. And maybe I want to move my opt-in form over this side. Now look, I don't have to have any technical skills at all. I can just grab it drag it and drop it, which is about all the technical skills I personally have, so it makes it nice and easy for me. And now I've got a cool page that looks kind of like that. Now for this, I'm probably gonna make the headline a little bit bigger. So again, I don't have to call my tech guy up, I just click around and boom, it's bigger. I might make this one a little bigger too. This is how I build my pages now, I just keep clicking around until things look awesome, which is nice. I don't know about you, but in the past when I would try to create um, really cool things. A lot of times I'd go and have to like call my designer or my developer and have them change things a million different times and this is just so much easier. So this blue background is kind of cool but maybe it doesn't match my brand, right? So I'm going to click on settings here. I'm going to click right here on background settings. I can go and I can change the background image. Now there's a whole bunch of different uh, background images already kind of default in here so you can pick one of these or you can upload your own. So add that one. Ooh, that looks kind of cool. Um, let's say I wanted to add like a progress bar. I love progress bars. So I'm going to add a progress bar here. I just click on the little uh, element selector and there's a whole bunch of different elements again. I'm going to click on progress bar. Check that out. It's kind of cool. And I can click on this and I can uh, I can change a bunch of things if I wanted. So I can change it from flat if I want to do animated stripes, which is kind of cool, right? I can change this to... Um, um, 50% done, or maybe I want to keep it with almost there, but I want this bar to be not 50%, but I want it to be 75%. That looks kind of cool. Um, I like that a lot. I can also bold that text in there. Maybe I'm going to move that up above the headline. That looks kind of cool. Um, I could also, if I wanted to, I could come right here. Actually, let me do this. I'm going to move this progress bar above the opt-in form. That's kind of cool looking. Move it up a little bit. And then the video, maybe I want to add a countdown clock. So I come in here and I try to find the countdown clock element. So I've got a countdown clock. It's kind of dark here. Let me make it white so you can see a little better. And then I'm going to transition it from text only to circles. Looks kind of cool, I think. And let's see. And now I've got a really cool countdown clock. This page is getting better and better. It just looks awesome. And it didn't take me knowing any magic skills. I just copy and paste and move things. I can save it now. And I click on preview, I can see what the page is going to look like when visitors come to my website. Maybe I think, you know, maybe I don't want this video there. Maybe I want an image instead. So I can just go and I can delete it. And I can come and I can just add in an image. So I click on image. And I'll add an image there. I'll put it above this. And I can go find an image that, um, that I have. I'll paste my image right here. And now I've got a picture of my book. Okay, pretty simple and pretty easy. And again, maybe I'm just like, ah, you know what? This progress bar is no good. I can throw it in the trash and it's gone. Okay, and maybe I want the countdown clock over here. Or maybe it would look really cool in the headline. I don't know. I can move things around and it's so much fun. Yes, see that? Like literally back in the past, I'd have a designer. He'd create something, give it to me. I'm like, ah, I don't like that. And I'd ask him to change it. And 24 hours later, send it back. I'm like, ah, I don't like that. And I'd ask him to change it. And we'd go back and forth and back and forth. And a week later, we'd have something done. We're now like, I can literally, you guys see how easy this is, right? Like I, I don't have any technical skills whatsoever. And I'm able to look at this and drag and drop and just make this thing as amazing as, as I want. I can make it match my dream and my vision uh, however I however I would like to do it. Okay, there you go. I'm gonna add in a video here. Now I got a video underneath there if that's what I want. I can do anything I want because it's my page and I should be able to do what I want, right? So that's how easy it is to edit not only this page, but any page 
inside of ClickFunnels. So I just want to show you guys that and uh, because it's so simple and so easy. So let me come back to the funnel view now. You'll see page number one of my funnel is finished. Now I'm going to come right here and click on sales page. If you remember from our little sketch right here, the next thing we got is our core offer, our sales page. We're going to sell something. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to find a sales page that I like. So there's a whole bunch of them in here. You can scroll through and find the ones you like the best. Um, I'm probably going to use a really basic one. I'm just going to use this one. I kind of like that. So I'm going to choose this template right here. Okay, so I added that page template, and then just like I did for the squeeze page, I can log in, I can edit things, I can delete things, I can add my logos, I can move things around. It's very simple and easy to do. I'm not going to do that right now because, uh, you know, because of, you know, for the sake of time, but it's very easy to go in there and edit that. Now I'm going to move on to the order form. Now the order form for me is probably my favorite part because in the past, um, if I ever wanted to do really cool looking order forms, it was hard. If I used Infusionsoft or Entreport or ClickBank or any of the other tools out there, they give you order forms that they typically don't match your brand. They're not that good looking and you're kind of stuck with them, but that's all that we really have. In ClickFunnels, you can come down here and you can choose any one of the order form templates you like. It's very simple, so I'm going to choose this one right here. And then uh, it's very easy now to edit it and make it so that the look and feel matches my brand and make it look really, really awesome. It's kind of cool when you see this, you'll be able to see how many visitors hit your order form, how many people fill in their, their contact information, how, much, how many people purchase, what your conversion rates are, everything here from this little dashboard, which is kind of cool. You can even set up order form split test, which is awesome. Uh, but I think my favorite thing is the fact that if you are using a, a company like Infusionsoft or Entreport, we integrate with them. So you can still use those shopping carts and integrate. Or if you want, ClickFunnels has its own internal shopping cart as well. We uh, use Stripe as a backend. You can plug in Stripe and instantly you can start taking sales on, on your website, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to come here into the order form. And edit it just so you can see how simple and easy it is okay now I don't know about you but in the past if I ever had an order form and I wanted to change or edit something this is where um, we always would have tons and tons and tons of technical issues because there's so many little things that are happening inside of uh, inside of an order form and if a tech guy moves a field it could mess up the whole thing in fact I can't tell you how many nightmares I've had of that and that's why one of the other reasons why I love ClickFunnels so much is that I can grab things I can move things around I can drag and drop and I'm not going to mess things up no matter what I do I can't break it and so that's kind of something that's really, really comforting to me and probably to you as well so I'm going to show you how I can take this order form which is a pretty good looking order form but I can add in my logo like I just showed you, and I can make this look really, really cool. So I'm gonna just do a couple little things. I'm gonna make this, uh, gonna make this a little bit wider. Uh, I'm gonna add two columns in here. I think this will be kind of cool. And let's say I wanted to add a video. Okay, one thing I found in order forms is that by adding a video that shows people how to fill out the order form, it increases conversion. Which sounds like a goofy, weird thing, but it works. So I'm gonna have a video right here teaching people how to fill out this order form. Right? Then I'm gonna add the order button here. I'm going to add the credit card field right here. I'm going to add this so they can pick what product they're ordering. I'm add my Visa and MasterCard logos. I'm going to add their email address. And boom, check out how awesome that order form looks and how easy it was. I come down here. Let's say I want to pull my 30 day money back guarantee block right there. Hmm, I'm going to make this two columns. That way I can put the 30 day money back guarantee there and the secure payment there. I can just delete this whole section here. And maybe I want to add some urgency on my order form. So I click on the little plus button and come right here and I can add a countdown clock like I did before. So I'll come right here and uh, there's a whole bunch of different elements here. Like I said, you've probably seen some of these before. But I'll add an account down clock here. Uh, I love making the circle one. So I'll add a circle one like that. Make it a little bit bigger. That yeah, looks cool. And I have some urgency here on my uh, actual order form, which is kind of cool. And maybe, maybe I'll add in... Um, uh, another progress bar to show them that they're almost to the end. So I had a progress bar here. They're on the, like they're on the order form. So they're you know let's say eighty five percent of the way there. Um, flat color is cool. I like I really like the stripes. So I add that up here. Um, let's see. I can add that in a couple different places. Maybe I'll move it to the top here. That looks kind of cool. Um, or I could move it underneath the headline here. That looks kind of cool too. So it kind of is up to you how you want to do it. You know, that's my favorite thing about this is that um, I don't have to call a designer if I want to move something or edit things around. I can just drag and drop and be like, all right, that looks great. I think it looks amazing that way. And then I can save it. And then I can preview it and see exactly what my order form is going to look like for other people. Isn't that awesome? That quick, I made one of the best looking order forms I think I've ever seen. All right, so I'll exit that. And I just want to kind of show you guys how simple and easy it is to order form. The same thing is true with, uh, with upsell pages. Now in the past, if you ever wanted to do like a one-click upsell, it took all sorts of insane amounts of programming and technical things. In fact, I remember the first time um, 
we wanted to do uh, the first time we wanted to do an, an upsell, um, I, uh, I was using Infusionsoft and I had to hire someone. It cost me $2,500 for them to, to custom design it so I could do one click upsell. It didn't make any sense. Where now I just like click select template, I plug in my video, uh, I click one button and instantly the one click upsell works. Okay. And you don't need any tech guys or anyone. It just, it just works, which is one of the best things about click funnels. All right. So there's the upsell page. And I do the exact same thing for the thank you page as well. Um, and I hope you guys are seeing how simple and how easy this, uh, this really is. Um, it's, it's, it's clicking, it's dragging and dropping. It's just kind of figuring out what you want. Instead of having to tell a programmer and a desire, a designer and all these people what to do and the order to do it, you just kind of drag and drop and move things around until it looks the way you want it to look. Okay, and it's just the way that this kind of thing should be. It should be more difficult than that, all right? Okay, so you guys have seen how simple it was to set up the sales funnel we created right here, right? We've got our, our lead magnet, our core offer, we've got our order form, we've got our upsell, we've got our thank you page, and it's literally drag and drop. It doesn't take rocket science. It takes somebody looking at something they want, dragging and dropping and moving and adding elements and just making it the way that you want it to look and feel. It doesn't take a tech person anymore.